What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion and an in-depth review on the Haunted Earth Dead Orbit Scout Rifle and give you guys the answer to a question on everyone's lips. Is this thing worth 50,000 glimmer? But before we get into that guys, do you want to win some juicy loot? I've got emblem calls, I've got sparrow calls, I've got gift cards, I've got much more. To win some, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Also join my Discord server, linked within that video description. Okay, so actually before we get into reviewing this weapon, can I ask you guys a serious question? How did Dead Orbit win? How did we let that happen? I just do not get it. It doesn't sit right with me. Dead Orbit, in my opinion, were the worst faction. The armour was bland. The shaders garbage the weapons that looked rubbish um so how did they win i don't get it how did they i think it's set up i think it's completely set up i seriously do but anyway they won we're gonna have to deal with it but luckily i picked one faction per character so i actually got to pick all three uh, factions so whatever faction won i was always going to get the winning weapon for 1k glimmer now if you didn't assign dead orbit on any of your characters this weapon right here will cost you 50,000 glimmer from the Dead Orbit vendor within the tower. Today, hopefully, I will answer the question for you guys of, is this worth 50,000 glimmer? Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I set out recording this video wanting to hate this weapon. I wanted to make a video raging about Dead Orbit and raging about this rubbish weapon, which will cost you 50,000 glimmer if you want to use. When in actual fact, people, I purchased this and was pleasantly surprised. Now, scout rifles, before we go any further, are meant to be used at range. They are the ultimate sit back and pick off weapon, and this thing is absolutely brutal at doing that. Now, we all know the daddy of scout rifles within the game is a minor multi tool. There's no two which ways about it. But was I, I was actually finding myself outgunning people using this. Now, obviously, it isn't going to be happening 24 7 whenever i'm playing pvp i'm obviously going to be outgunned also using the mida but still if it puts up a fight at range with the mida it's definitely worth your time at least looking into now the background footage you'll see in a couple of minutes you'll see was taken from one game where i went on two 10 kill streaks against sweats now i ain't the best pvp player you guys know this i'm by i'm far from the best pvp player um that's that's standard but even so, if I can do good using the scout rifle the way scouts are supposed to be used, I reckon you can probably do good too. Now on screen now we're seeing its stats. We've got fuel prep, uh, increased ammo reserves, faster reload uh, when crouched. We also have tactical mag and high caliber rounds, and we have IS5 circle and model 6 loop. Now this was the setup I was using. I didn't even bother putting on high caliber rounds. I know this takes magazine size down to 12, but even so, I wasn't really fussed about that to be honest you can see i'm rocking the new monica shader on it because you know it just looks absolutely awesome it seriously does but yeah the haunted earth scout rifle is the ultimate sit back and pick enemy off weapon now while you're watching the uh, the background footage of me using this within pvp we'll take a look at its in-depth stats we can see that this thing's rate of fire is 150 rounds per minute so that's basically 2.6 bullets per second so it'll shoot basically five bullets every two seconds its ads time is 0.10 seconds so it's not the fastest its reload time is 2.2 seconds again not the fastest it will empty its entire clip of 13 that is in 4.26 seconds its uh, damage to the body it will do 37 damage to the head it will do 52 damage per second to the body it will do 74 and damage per second to the head will do 106 the fastest uh, time to kill it's roughly 1.8 seconds coming from four headshots but guardians you come up against with low resilience you can easily one body shot and three headshot now this won't make the time to kill any quicker it just makes it easier obviously not hitting four headshots now this thing's handling feels pretty good it seriously does it doesn't feel slack at all seems like it's got quite a high aim assist also the range on it is unbelievable i mean i don't think there's any range fall off at all i mean there probably shouldn't we with scout rifles but i went back as far as i could on a certain few maps i'm still picking enemies off at a distance not losing any damage over range so it's, there's obviously a range fall off somewhere but most of the maps within pvp now are quite, well they're relatively small so you ain't gonna see a range fall off now the stability on this thing is 
unbelievable, but you'd expect that from such a slow rate of fire scout rifle. I mean, it's got a slight bounce, but it's so, so easily controllable. It seriously is. But yeah, people, I'm not going to lie. I went into this video. I wanted to hate this weapon. I used it within PvP. I wanted to rage my balls off, but no, I actually enjoyed it. But that's because I was using it how scouts should be used. Now, if you're a up close in personal player, this is not for you. This cannot compete with an SMG, it cannot compete with an auto rifle, it cannot compete with a pulse rifle, it cannot compete with a sidearm, a hand cannon, anything at close range. But if you play from a distance and that's the way your playstyle is, you will seriously like this weapon. Now if you weren't assigned with Dead Orbit and you do enjoy scout rifles, will I say this is worth the grind of 50k to purchase? I would say yes it is. Another thing to keep in mind as well is we don't know when the faction rally is going to be back. We don't know what weapons are going to be on offer when the faction rallies are back. And we also don't know if Dead Orbit will win when the faction rally is back. So you might not have a chance to purchase this for a few months. So yes, if you're a scout rifle sort of person and you have 50,000 glimmer to spare or you can grind 50,000 glimmer, that's no problem to you. This is definitely worth a purchase. Now if you're a rusher, if you're a up close and personal fighter within PvP, and SMGs, sidearms, auto rifles, pulses are your game. This is definitely not for you, and I would say it's not worth the 50,000 glimmer. Obviously, if you're assigned with Dead Orbit, just purchase it anyway, it's a thousand glimmer. Now, would I say purchase this for solely PvE for 50,000 glimmer? I would say no. There's so many better PvE scouts within the game. I'd probably say save that glimmer. This is definitely not worth purchasing if you're only planning on using it within PvE. It seriously is not. But again, like I said guys, if you are a collector, if you have 50,000 glimmer spare, you may as well purchase this because like I said, you never know when it's coming back. And on that note guys, I'm going to end the video. I hope this video helped you out. If so, leaving a like really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload. But thanks as always for stopping by people and hopefully I will see you on that next one.